Tanya here from Draw for the Giants and today I have a story to tell you of how the Lord is refining a project idea for me right now. It's kind of exciting really because it sort of hits the nail on the head for the thing that I want to be able to give my clients and, and those who want to um, you know, work with me. But is it something that they want in return? We all love a good deal and we love freebies. I know that I do. But have you noticed that everything seems to cost? When we are looking for products to help us in our businesses or in our life, we love the idea of it and then there's this introductory offer that just is too good to pass up. So we grab it. Now I think we've been around the block a few times. We do understand that if you're going to get me at a good introductory price, I know that you're going to be putting it up. We kind of expect that, but don't you get just frustrated with it? I don't want to have to always pay for it. I mean, not pay a lot for it. Am I any different? No. Well, maybe. In fact, I don't think I am. I think I'm just the same as everybody else. So let me explain what that means. I have this wonderful new idea for a product that I have. I'm looking at my price ranges and I have them all in front of me. So these are the two thoughts that came to mind as I'm fixated on my prices. A month ago, the Lord told me to prepare to receive a retaining client. He told me that I didn't need to worry about how I would find them because that was his job. All I needed to do was to prepare for one. The second thought was a remembrance of a conversation that we had last week when he said to me, don't despise the little things. Now these two things came at the same time, one before the other. It was just enough as a tweak in my system to stop me in my tracks because I knew that they were things that the Lord had directly said to me. Now if it's not a very common occurrence for you to experience God talking to you, you're in for a treat if you ever have the chance to have an experience with this. There's nuances and layers to the meaning of what he'll say. Quite often he'll just mention a couple of words like a short sentence other times he's a lot more explanatory in what he wants to tell me let me explain to you how else the lord has spoken to me and i've wondered about the, the fuller meaning of it a few months ago he said to me your business is your ministry and i'm thinking wow that's great lord so does that mean that my business is my ministry meaning that my volunteering aspect of my business needs to be my business or is my business my ministry? As in, I'm to service the marketplace through my business, which is in fact my ministry. And do you see where I'm going with this? <laughs> my business is my ministry. And my ministry is my business. And the nuances and the layers and the confounding, what is it? And you know what? It's all correct. All of it. That's what the Lord does. He just speaks to you and you're sitting there going, okay, what did you mean? I think you meant this. And he's like, yeah, I did. I guess it's the epitome of what business is. So as I've got my project in front of me and I'm happy with my prices, in fact, I'm so happy with the prices, I've already created all the information on my website and I've hit live and it's been live for a few minutes. Um, that's when the first thought comes to me that the reminder that I was supposed to be prepared for a retaining client and then that little tweak in my system that said hey hang on what's this here are you saying to me now Lord that my new product idea could be the retaining idea that you've given me because this is not what I expected now the word expecting happened to be a trigger word for me for some reason but I realized in that moment that when I said to him, this is not what I expected, I was in for a bit of a lesson. And because I said it to the Lord, I thought, oh no, I'm expecting this. You see, when he asked me to be prepared for a retaining client, I guess the fact that just thinking about it, it made me realize that, ah, maybe the Lord wants to tell me something here. Am I incorrect with my expectation of what a retaining client is for me? Do I need to be looking at my new product that I have before me as my retaining client offer? So as I can feel the clogs in my head go, eh, eh, 
<laughs> you know, information overload. Oh dear, I don't want this. This wasn't what was I was expecting, and all that sort of. No, 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 don't want this. I want the 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 other the other idea. The other thought just jumped into my head. Don't despise little things. This was the Lord's way of helping me through the process of unsticking my thoughts out of the expectations that I had into the divine way that he wants to work with me. Even though he only said don't despise little things, with it came this nuance of meaning and understanding. So I'm looking at the numbers in front of me. I have five tiers of pricing levels <laughs> with my new product idea. And I'm just covering a whole lot of bases. And with the one comment of the Lord for don't despise little things, I knew what he was asking me. And I'm like, oh, Lord, really? <laughs> oh, Lord, really? And he's like, don't despise little things. He reminded me that I had a dream that whatever I created had to be, or I wanted it to be, something that was really of practical valuable use to whoever bought it. He then went on to remind me that I'm not to do business like the world does business. Whatever that means, but whatever it is that they're doing, I'm not allowed to do it. And I know what all that he's told me is not to market myself and not to advertise myself like the general mainstream businesses do. Therefore, what have I got to lose? He also told me not to hold back and to give my very best. And the last thing he said to me was, even at this price, Tania, you can afford it. It only took a few minutes for all these thoughts came to my mind as I'm looking at my computer screen. Realizing that the Lord wanted me to change my numbers, I went into action. I thought, why not? It's a win-win situation. If the Lord actually asked me to do it in my business, then who am I to argue with him? Um, and really, at the end of the day, he's the one that's going to be bringing uh, to me clients and, and people who will be interested in this product. So, okay, let's do it. Hey, I've got nothing to lose and everything to gain from it. So I decided that I would um, agree with what he was suggesting and I went and changed everything immediately. And um, therefore, I'm, I took away all my five tiers of, um, of charging and I made uh, one tier of charging. So everything that I have now is $20. $20 on a monthly basis. <laughs> what a trip. <laughs> the funny thing is that when I actually went ahead and to change my website and to reflect the new price, um, I felt a, a confidence um, inside of me. In fact, um, it was like I had this little reward of, you know, you've done a really good thing, you feel really light and happy with it. So that was kind of like, like, like may peace be your umpire. So at the moment, I haven't really told the world what it is that I'm selling, but I'm wanting to be prepared for a retaining client. So would you like to know what it is that I'm doing? <laughs> Let me tell you now. So I've created a digital monthly subscription in where I have a real love of supporting people in business um, with the touch points that they have that they can um, create relationships and build relationships with those that they serve in their businesses. The beauty of it is that everything is editable. I wanted to hit that sweet spot of the, the, the new person who's working for themselves, who has all those visions of wanting to um, really bless their people who they want to work with and those who've been in business for a while that who are in the in the in the habit of um, reaching out to their clients with touch points and uh, cards and gift vouchers and and whatever and I'm inviting people to come and join my draw for the Giants toolbox group on Facebook where they'll be able to see some of the backdrops of what I'm doing, they'll be able to vote on themes, they'll be able to give me feedback and we'll be able to talk about what it is that they want and I will create for them and that is awesome because they then become my retaining client and it just makes so much more sense. You know business is really fun with God. I would not have come to this place had I not had these little tweaks in my system of remembering the conversations that the Lord had already set me up for 
in the months previously. So that was business with God this week. So I'm Tanya from Draw for the Giants, having fun. I don't know what next week will hold, but I'm sure it's going to be a blast. <laughs>